try to imagine a time when books are available only to a few people. And not just unavailable, but encrypted. By the Middle Ages, the 8th century AD, the most important book in the Judeo-Christian world, the Bible, was translated into Latin, a language that was not used by average people. More translations were at times actively discouraged, preserving the great book stories and wisdom only for those who were thought to be worthy. People were told that the mysteries of knowledge and understanding are complex. It's very difficult to build a true picture, but don't worry. We will explain you the meaning and help you to decide the best pathway for your life. If you weren't a priest, you couldn't have a copy, because imagine if you were to interpret those holy words in your own way and decide on their meaning for yourself. You'd disrupt the wider narrative. A few centuries later, Gutenberg invented movable type. And that was the beginning of a printing revolution. We call it a revolution. Why? Is it because the mechanical invention allowed us to print faster than the human hand was able to write? Of course not. The Gutenberg invention was one of the most important milestones in the humanity's history because it made information available, which enabled freedom of thoughts and decisions. At first, only the Bible was printed and made available for universities, but then more and more books, and here we are in 2020, the digital age, and we are almost drowning in a sea of information. We can publish books ourselves. We can research anything with the stroke of a key. Well, almost anything. If you look at what is more sustainable, mechanical or chemical plastic recycling, it's a hard one to Google, and actually not too many people will be able to get to the bottom of it. During the last 20 years, we have heard a lot from scientists, governments, journalists, influencers in social media about plastic in the ocean, water and air pollution, carbon emission, climate change and impact of deforestation. A lot of controversial information. This is our reality. And I'm not exaggerating when telling that making sense of data in time for us to stop the environmental disaster, it's a humanity's greatest challenge. If you look at another question, how sustainable is to put so-called ocean plastic into your shoes or t-shirts? How much energy was used in the process? And what is the actual percentage of recycled plastic content? Until now, Life cycle analysis experts have been telling us that the mysteries of globalization and supply chain are complex. It's very difficult to build a true picture, but don't worry, we will explain you the meaning and help you to decide which product is better. We will be able to give you sort of a vague general idea about product eco footprint at a certain point in time, but it will take a few months and we will send you a bill, and it will be a big one. And we can't really explain how we do the analysis, because it is complicated. At the end, corporations and brand owners are competing with each other by making commitments which are meaningless to the average shopper. Let me give you an example. Ethical arguments aside, for the sake of a pure granular comparison, let's imagine we need to choose between two burgers. Both labels say burgers are eco-friendly. So imagine, burger A was produced with the traditional intensive agricultural methods. Or even worse, that particular farmer also destroyed a forest, and he's using old, high diesel consumption farming vehicles and a lot of pesticides, herbicides, that ultimately goes into the soil and water systems. The eco footprint of that particular burger will be even higher than industry average. So burger B was produced by a farmer who also planted a big forest around his fields. And he is using renewable diesel for his tractors and renewable power for his energy needs and other sustainable technologies. The eco footprint of those two burgers will be hugely different. Maybe up to two or three times the difference, but today 
you will not see this difference on their labels. It's like having a big curtain shrouding the real data in mystery, and we are making our purchasing decisions based on that and on whatever story happened in the media that day. Very outdated model. Very Middle Ages. Well, I'm here to tell you that blockchain system can leapfrog us out of the Middle Ages, like Gutenberg did. Blockchain system can track and trace every transaction that happened in the creation of the product in real time. Not just three months ago, not just in a broad sleeping averages, not just inside one company. It can integrate data from multiple enterprises, from raw materials to end of life and back to a new life through recycling. There are already pilots running to prove that claim. Like Gutenberg invention, with the beginning of making books available to the average people, so blockchain system can rip the curtain down and bring information, clarity and simplicity of product manufacturing, not only to producers and experts, but directly to end consumers, you and me. You will be able to scan a QR code and see the complete product eco footprint picture. So why am I telling you that information we are getting from blockchain systems is reliable and trustworthy? In a very simple words, blockchain is a chain of blocks with a main basic principle when a piece of data, the weight of raw material, for example, enters the system, it is now in the block and it is not changeable anymore. No one, not a system owner, or system designer, or Harker, or anyone else can, can change information retroactively because it will be immediately seen in the next block and next, and the whole chain of blocks and system as a whole will not accept it. Blockchain systems are immovable, immutable, uncompromisable, which means there is no room for forgery. And if we add automated data collection through integrated industrial sensors, we can capture the entire life of the product, from birth to death to reincarnation and beyond. At this point, you may ask, why is it so important to get this reliable and trustworthy product eco footprint data? Because it's time for us to grow up. We might wonder why industry is emitting CO2 and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Why pharma, in my first burger-making example, destroying the forest? The answer is very simple. Because we are buying those products. We are participating, keeping the cycle going, and competition between producers today is based mainly on price and marketing stories. Let me explain you with a metaphor. Imagine a child, a small three, four years old kid. He loves to investigate everything. He likes to explore interesting things like, for example, fire. He wants to see and feel the warmth, to watch what happened to his food when he cooks it. And he doesn't know yet that if he is not careful, his small fire can grow to this. We are not in a total global disaster yet, but we need to learn how to handle our fire very, very quickly. For centuries, we have been told that someone outside of ourselves, someone with authority or special knowledge, has the answers for what comprises a well-lived and ethical life. It's time to take control and face this global environmental crisis directly and find out what's really going on and what we, each of us, can do about it. When the product life tracking system is designed with a deep knowledge of manufacturing process, it can give us a condensed, reliable, clear data picture of, for example, carbon footprint, or exact percentage of the recycled plastic content, or the reliability of farmers' claims. It means that we and our governments will have information for our everyday choices. So when I tell you about the ability to show exact product eco footprint directly to end consumers, I'm not asking you to sit and listen to a programming or manufacturing process tutorial. I'm offering you an opportunity to step up 
as a grown-up adult and participate in a conversation and take responsibility and support those producers who, in your opinion, based on real data, should be supported. And ignore those product industries or technologies that ultimately drain our ecosystems. Blockchain system allows us to connect widespread impact of industrial age to our personal choices. And it allows us, as a grown-up adults, to take responsibility for those choices. The power is in our hands. And like letters in a sentence, in a paragraph, in a large narrative, we can work together and influence the manufacturing world and build a future where humans are cooperating with nature. A future where both humans and nature thrive. Thank you.